What is a dishwasher high loop? Welcome to the fascinating world of dishwasher installation nuances. Have you ever heard of a dishwasher high loop? It's a small component that is crucial in keeping your dishwasher performing optimally while maintaining your kitchen's hygiene. As we embark on this journey together, we'll dive into high loop basics, its pivotal role in your dishwasher, and why it's essential for protection. We'll also touch on setting up a high loop, common troubleshooting, the cost factor of its installation, maintenance tips, and whether the high loop is the best option or not. Get ready to turn the mundane into the intriguing. By the end of this exploration, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to ensure your dishwasher runs effectively and efficiently. Understanding High Loop Basics The term high loop might appear technical and complex, but once understood, it shines a new light on the efficiency of your dishwasher. The high loop is the upward bend of your dishwasher's drain hose. It's installed beneath the kitchen sink and has one prime function, to prevent drain water from re-entering the dishwasher post-cycle. Picture it as a roller coaster ride for the drain water. It climbs a steep hill, the high loop, before rushing back downhill towards the drain or garbage disposal. This straightforward yet effective setup provides a physical barrier called an air gap. Without getting too lost in physics, this air gap prevents the backward flow of water due to gravitational and pressure differences. It's an essential shield that stops dirty drain water from backtracking into your dishwasher and contaminating your clean dishes. By understanding the high loop basics, you gain insight into the workings of your dishwasher and the silent, yet significant role this component plays in maintaining the cleanliness of your dishes. The high loop might be out of sight, but it should never be out of mind. What is the primary function of the high loop in a dishwasher setup? A. To increase the pressure of the water entering the dishwasher. B. To prevent drain water from re-entering the dishwasher after the cycle. The high loop's role in your dishwasher. Continuing our thrilling journey into the heart of your dishwasher, let's focus our spotlight on the pivotal role of the high loop. It may not take center stage when we talk about the primary components of a dishwasher, but its function is undeniably critical. Think of the high loop as the silent sentinel, ever watchful, and always working behind the scenes to ensure the health and hygiene of your dishwasher. Its primary function, to keep your clean dishes and the dirty drain water separate. The moment your dishwasher cycle ends, the dirty water needs a root out, that's where our high loop springs into action. Without this upward bend in the drain hose, there's a risk that water from the sink or garbage disposal could flow back into your dishwasher, turning it into a breeding ground for germs and odors. By providing a high point in the hose, the loop ensures that water has to climb a hill before it can return, a task it cannot accomplish due to gravity. This role might seem simple, but it's pivotal in the world of dishwashers. The high loop ensures your appliance is more than just a machine, it's a health-conscious tool that promotes hygiene and cleanliness within your home. Why is the high loop considered essential for a dishwasher? A. It heats the dishes for better drying. B. It prevents the backflow of water from the sink or garbage disposal, avoiding contamination. Why a high loop is crucial for dishwasher protection. The purpose of a high loop extends beyond just hygiene, it also plays a crucial part in safeguarding your dishwasher's lifespan and optimal operation. Imagine a scenario where your dishwasher has just completed its cycle. The water used to clean your dirty dishes needs to be expelled. However, water could flow back into your dishwasher from the sink or garbage disposal without a high loop. Not only does this result in a hygiene issue, but it also means that your dishwasher is continuously subjected to residual water, creating an environment ripe for wear and tear, rust, and even mechanical failure. The high loop acts as a defensive shield for your dishwasher. Preventing backflow ensures that your dishwasher's internal stays dry and free from excess moisture when not in operation, extending the machine's life and saving you from potentially costly repairs or replacements. In essence, the high loop is the unsung hero that protects your dishwasher daily, ensuring it remains a reliable, efficient, and hygienic kitchen companion. How does the high loop contribute to the longevity of a dishwasher? A. By enhancing cleaning efficiency and reducing cycle time. B. By keeping internals dry and preventing rust and mechanical failure.
step-by-step -step guide to high loop installation in your dishwasher. Step number one, identify the drain hose. Locate the drain hose, typically found at the back of the dishwasher. It's a flexible tube that carries water from the dishwasher to the drain system. Step number two, root the hose correctly. Pull enough slack in the hose to root it upwards toward the bottom of the countertop or the top of the sink cabinet. Ensure that the hose is higher than the sink's bottom at its highest point. This climb is what creates the high loop. Step number three, secure the high loop. Using clamps or zip ties, secure the high loop in place. You can fix it to the underside of the countertop or the inside wall of the sink cabinet. Make sure the high loop remains stable and doesn't droop. Step number four, connect to the drain. Once the high loop is secured, connect the other end of the drain hose to the kitchen drain or garbage disposal, following the manufacturer's instructions. Step number five, check your work. After everything is set, run a cycle in the dishwasher and check for leaks or drainage issues. If there are no issues, congratulations, you've successfully installed a high loop. Where is the drain hose typically located in a dishwasher for high loop installation? A. At the front of the dishwasher. B. At the back of the dishwasher. What is the purpose of routing the drain hose upwards during high loop installation? A. To create the high loop by ensuring the hose is higher than the sink's bottom. B. To make the dishwasher look more aesthetically pleasing. Common High Loop Troubleshooting As we continue our thrilling exploration, it's time to focus on the common troubleshooting associated with the high loop. Just like any other appliance component, high loops can occasionally face issues. But worry not. Understanding these problems and potential solutions can ensure your dishwasher remains efficient. Loop Drooping Sometimes, the high loop might not stay high. A hanging loop can lose its effectiveness, allowing the backflow of water into the dishwasher. The solution? Ensure your loop is securely attached under the countertop or sink cabinet, maintaining its height above the sink level. Blocked or kinked hose. A blockage or kink in the drain hose can prevent water from draining correctly, potentially leading to backflow or a pool of water in your dishwasher. Regularly check your drain hose for any blockages or kinks, and remove any that you find. Hose length issues. If your drain hose is too short, it might need to reach higher to create an effective loop. If it's too long, it could make low points where water can collect, leading to blockages. Ensure your drain hose is of an appropriate length for your specific installation. Inconsistent performance. If your dishwasher is not cleaning dishes well or has a persistent odor, there could be an issue with the high loop. It's worth checking the loop and considering a professional's help to ensure it's set up correctly. What should you do if the high loop in your dishwasher is drooping? A. Secure it under the countertop or sink cabinet. B. Replace the dishwasher with a new one. How can a blocked or kinked drain hose affect your dishwasher? A. It can improve water flow, producing an efficient water cycle. B. It can lead to backflow or water pooling in the dishwasher. The cost factor of high loop installation. Let's talk about the financial aspect of the high loop installation. When it comes to cost, the high loop setup is typically inexpensive and more cost effective than installing an air gap. The primary expenses are the cost of a hose clamp or zip tie to secure the loop and possibly a longer drain hose if the existing one isn't sufficient. If you're comfortable with DIY tasks, there's no labor cost involved. However, if you hire a professional, the service charge becomes an additional expense. Although costs vary based on location and individual contractors, they are generally manageable. Altogether, the high loop installation is a budget-friendly solution for an essential aspect of your dishwasher's hygiene and longevity. How does a high loop setup cost typically compare to installing an air gap? A. More expensive than air gap. B. Less expensive and more cost-effective. What are the primary expenses involved in high loop installation? A. The cost of a hose clamp or zip tie and possibly a longer drain hose. B. The cost of specialized plumbing tools and equipment.
Maintaining your dishwasher's high loop tips. Regularly inspect the high loop setup to ensure the hose maintains its upward bend without drooping or sagging. Check for signs of leakage around the high loop area and the hose's connection points. Replace the hose if leaks are detected. Avoid overloading the dishwasher. This can lead to less effective cleaning and potential water backup, affecting the high loop. Clean the drain hose periodically to prevent debris buildup, which can cause blockages and backflow. Schedule periodic professional checkups for the dishwasher and high loop installation to ensure proper functioning and longevity. What should you regularly inspect in your dishwasher's high loop setup? A. That the hose maintains its upward bend without drooping or sagging. B. The color of the hose for fading. What should you do if you find leaks in the high loop? A. Ignore them as they are normal. B. It is better to replace the hose. Why should you avoid overloading the dishwasher in relation to the high loop? A. It can lead to less effective cleaning and potential water backup. B. It makes the dishwasher more energy efficient. How often should you schedule professional checkups for your dishwasher and high loop? A. Only when the dishwasher stops working. B. Periodically to ensure proper functioning and longevity. What is the consequence of not maintaining the high loop properly? A. Increased energy efficiency of the dishwasher. B. Risk of blockages and backflow due to debris buildup. Is a dishwasher high loop the best option? High loops are easy to install, cost-effective and discreet, effectively preventing backflow for dishwasher hygiene. Yet, if local codes mandate an air gap, or you seek optimal backflow prevention, an air gap may be a stronger choice. Both options aim to stop dirty water from returning to the dishwasher. Your choice should reflect personal needs, preferences, and local rules. Proper setup and upkeep are vital for any option chosen. What are the advantages of a dishwasher high loop compared to an air gap? A. Easy to install, cost-effective and discreet. B. Increases dishwasher noise. When might an air gap be a better choice than a high loop? A. If local codes require it or for optimal backflow prevention. B. For enhancing the dishwasher's drying performance.